Hey everybody, Kenneth Russell here. I'm going to do a video today on how to make a Switch 3 pedal. And if you don't know what that is, this guy right here is the TC Helicon uh, Voice Live Play GTX. And most of the, the Helicon series, um, the Voice Live series pedals will have an external pedal option where you have another pedal that does additional functions uh, to this guy. And uh, they're called the Switch 3 and they're about 50 bucks and which seems to me like it was kind of expensive for really what it was i'm sure it's worth it but uh if you want to save some money i'm going to show you how to do the diy version and uh that's this guy right here just had a couple relatively inexpensive parts and very easy to do so if you wanted to make your own switch three then uh watch this video it'll show you how to do it so here we go all right we've got the uh, tc helicon right here and if you look on the back you'll see this switch right here that is for a pedal and that's what the Switch 3 plugs into with the stereo plug. And so I'm going to go ahead and just plug this in. And then plug it into my effects pedal here. And you can see that immediately it recognized that it was there. And uh, this Switch 3 or the do-it-yourself Switch 3 here will do a couple different functions. So it's got uh, ways to, to record. It's recording right now play what was recorded I guess, overdub, I don't know all the, the functions on it and I think there's a way that you can go in here and set what you want each one of these guys to do. So anyway, I'm going to show you how to build this little guy uh, very inexpensively relative to the 50 bucks that the other unit cost. Um, this is a pretty simple build. Honestly, if you know how to solder at all, you'll be able to do this, this build and honestly, even if you don't know how to solder, guys, it's not that hard and you're not gonna mess anything up with this guy. Um, there's basically uh, a few parts in here that are very, very easy. You need some sort of enclosure. Um, this is just a standard FX pedal enclosure. The actual Switch 3 is a little bit bigger and it has more room to step on stuff. And it's not in a triangle form, it's just one, two, three. So it might be like this much bigger. Uh, then we've got three switches here and these are our SPST momentary switches. And then you also have a jack here. This is a stereo jack. And then the wiring, you want to get at least three different color wires, and then also uh, two diodes. The, uh, the diodes are right here. What the schematic calls for is, is the 1N418 diodes. And it's not super important on which diodes you use because there's no real signal going through this. This is just triggering something in the the actual box the actual so unit when you're um picking a diode if you don't happen to have this exact diode like me i did not i just used a one in four zero zero two diode is what i used on this and it works just fine it's just telling the signal not to go back um it, and not to get too much into detail of what the diodes do but that's basically it and then if you come in here and you look at the uh this wiring diagram actually this is the schematic I got this off of uh, TC Helicon's website. It basically just shows the technical schematic for it. I'm not the best at reading schematics, so I made a little wire diagram as well. And so you can kind of look at, look at both of these, whichever one you prefer, whichever one you think is easiest to understand of how to do the wiring diagram. I just wrote in like tip, sleeve, and ring there. One thing that, that's really important is the diodes, they're directional. So you basically just have to be cognizant of where the band is on the diode and just to rule of thumb on this the band will always point be on the side of the third uh, SPST switch so in here you can see it that there's this little silver band right there and it's going towards the third one so basically that's how you build your own switch three this probably took me, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes at the most to do. Pretty, pretty easy. So hopefully you, you go out and do that. All these parts you can get actually at Radio Shack. The parts at Radio Shack are not as good as far as the switches. These switches here, these SPSTs here, these are just a little bit more um, heavy duty than what you're gonna get at, at Radio Shack. But those will work just as fine. I'm thinking they're right around 350 each. So that plus the jack, which might be another two bucks in an enclosure, you're looking at maybe $15, $20, depending on, on how much you're spending on the enclosure. But $20 compared to $50 is very good, and, and you can make it however you want. You know, you can paint it, you can write on it, you can sign it, you can do whatever you want and make it kind of your pedal. And so there, there it is, there's the Switch 3 DIY version done very well, and I think this works for most of the TC Helicon 
Voice Live products. Hopefully you enjoyed that, and if you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. And uh, there you go. Uh, if you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe on my YouTube channel, and uh, please share as well. And follow me on Twitter, at Kenneth Russell. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again soon. Um, and honestly, if one of them breaks, then you just replace it with a $3.50 um, switch. So anyway, hopefully this is helpful to you. I'm not a super expert in all this stuff. You know, I kind of know enough to get myself in trouble. But uh, I just thought, you know what, for 15 or 20 bucks, you could build your own. Uh, you could design it however you want. You can write whatever you want on it. And it's kind of a cool little pedal to go with your TC Helicon. So anyway, hopefully you like this. If you do, please like, comment, subscribe, share. And uh, like me on Twitter, at uh, Kenneth Russell. I'd really appreciate it. So thank you so much, and I will see you later.